for you my October favorites and of course I track to eyes by as soon as I start talking and as always time goes by so quickly and I can't believe that it's October in case you've never been to my channel my name is Jenny and this is the postgrad channel and I kind of want to talk about all things that have to do with life once you're done school and how to kind of make that transition into life and so far it's kind of been just about things that I buy because we all like to shop and when life is stressful not much helps more than a nice shopping spree but I'm trying to cut back on my shopping and therefore I'm trying to bring more videos into my channel about things other than shopping but I have been doing this favorites video on my channel since I started it back in May and it is now October so this is just gonna be all the things that I have been loving this month and yeah so let's just get into it I have a couple of food items makeup hair uh, songs books kind of everything that I've been loving this month and let's just jump right in. So I'm actually going to start with food because I want to put these back in the fridge as soon as possible. But there are two different kind of fall drinks that I have been loving this month and I've been obsessed with. The first one I don't actually have with me because I finished the bottle and Jay accidentally threw it out. But it's the Spiced Cider from Trader Joe's and it is so good. Like I love hot cider in the, the fall. It's like my favorite fall drink because it's just so like... It's got all those fall spices and it's warm and it's just like the apples. It's just so fall to me. So I love it. And they have one at Trader Joe's that it's just like a bottle of apple cider, but it's spice cider. And all you do is heat it up and it's so good. And it's better than the packet ones because it's actually cider. And so it's easier than like buying apple cider and then mulling it. You just buy it like that. It is kind of expensive and Trader Joe's is kind of far away, but it's totally worth it. And I'll put a picture what it looks like about here so you can see it now you can make spice cider just by grabbing some regular apple cider and putting it in a crock pot or just a regular kind of stove top pot with some spices and you can make it but it's so much easier to buy it and who doesn't love a good trip to Trader Joe's so it's an excuse to go to Trader Joe's the other drink that I've been loving this month is a combination of this Tazo Chai pumpkin spice latte now this is the same chai that they use at Starbucks and I used to hate it but lately I have been loving it I don't know maybe they changed it maybe my taste changed but I love this chai and they came out with this pumpkin spice latte kind this is still chai it just has like the pumpkin spice flavors in it if you just want chai or pumpkin chai or whatever you just mix it with milk or water and you can have it hot or cold but what I have been doing is I mix this with milk and then I heat it up this is the Dunkin Donuts chocolate glazed donut coffee whoo that's a mouthful and I, what I've been doing is brewing this in my Keurig and there's a setting for like strong four ounces and then I just kind of add it to this and this is almost like espresso oh there's like a space in the bottom do you guys see that where the light is like there's oh okay you can't so I've just been brewing a small amount of this and adding it to mm, probably like a three quarters of a cup of milk and three quarters of a cup of this maybe a little bit less than three quarters of a cup of this and it's like so good because I don't like a lot of coffee flavor and this is pretty sweet so it kind of keeps the coffee from being overpowering and then you mix it with this and it adds that sweet and that milk and it's phenomenal. The next thing that I have been loving is actually I don't have this with me either but it is the hair color that I dyed my hair and I talked about this in a previous video and I know that it's kind of hard to see in this light because the sun has to be shining on it like just right but there is actually a good amount of red in my hair. I've always wanted purple hair like since I was in middle school I dyed my hair purple with those like flash colors oh I don't know who they were by maybe L'Oreal but it was like purple hair dye that lasted for like two weeks and it washed out and I've always wanted purple hair and for forever I was asking my hair stylist like can you just hint it purple like I just want a hint of purple and she like wouldn't do it and my best friend and I have so many jokes about this because like I love my hairstyle my hairdresser to death at home I just love her she's amazing she's great with the hair cut but she's like never willing to like go all out into the color that we said we wanted so we have like a running joke about it but anyways I finally I just wanted my hair to be dark again it's winter I didn't want those like weird highlights in my hair anymore that happened as they kind of washed out so all I did is I did this myself at home and I went to Sally and I purchased the Ion Demi Permanent uh what's the the color burgundy brown hair dye and I mix it with 20 developer and I let it sit on for 20 minutes and it turned into this dark dark brown red color and at this point a lot of the red has washed out I mean I did it three weeks ago so a lot of it has washed out but it's still very deep and especially at the ends 
it still has that red in it and it's kind of like a like a purpley red which is exactly exactly what I wanted and I love it so if you're interested in getting like a brown burgundy color that's very brown in the not sunlight and burgundy very very burgundy in the sunlight I highly recommend the Ion Demi Permanent. It also makes your hair look very glossy, very shiny for the first couple weeks. It's kind of washed out now, but I highly recommend it. I've dyed my hair with it a couple times. One of my really good friends swears by it. Huge recommendation. I guess we should get into the makeup now. And next up, I'm going to talk to you about all the makeup that I've been loving this month. You guys, there's some good stuff in here. Like, there's been a lot of good stuff I've been using this month. So I'm just going to have a pile that I have just put in my lap and I'm just going to kind of go through it. I also have it written down in here to make sure that I don't forget anything. So you guys might have seen a few of these in previous videos of me, you know, hauling them or whatever. But the first thing that I have been obsessed with this month is the e.l.f. blush palette. This is the one in light and it has, first of all, huge mirror. This, this whole thing is mirror. I don't want to blind you. And then it has four very different, very unique shades of blush. They're super pigmented, super, oh, let's close that. They're super pigmented, super soft and buttery and easy to apply. They blend out great. What I've been wearing the most is I've been mixing these, nope, these two colors together. And this is actually what I have on my cheeks right now. So those two colors, when you mix them, I'm fucking up. When you mix these two colors together, you get like a very pretty, so this is the two separate and then this is them mixed together and it just turns into like a warm pink color, which I think looks really, really good on me. It is what I have on my cheeks today. And I've really been into this lately, especially because I'm just kind of getting used to wearing blush and starting to get into it. And so this palette has been a great way to kind of see what I like as far as blush because it has so many different variations. I mean, there's one that's very corally and peachy and shimmery. This has a lot of orange in it. There's one that's more brown, and then you have like a baby doll pink and a more cool tone pink. And I love it. Also from e.l.f., I also got this in my latest e.l.f. beauty bundle, which is where I got the bl brush, blush, wow, where I got the blush palette. This is the e.l.f. contouring brush. This is kind of like all of those NARS Eda brushes. Um, and the brush is similar to that where it's made for contouring and it has this very thin, defined, thick, dense point and you can just kind of get right into the hollows of your cheeks. And again, I'm just kind of starting to get into contouring. I never really was good at it before. And so this has been really a great help at kind of like teaching myself how to do it because it kind of makes it beginner friendly. So this is something that is in my project pan, my recent project pan, and this is the Benefit There Real Mascara. This is amazing. I had never tried this before. I put it in my project pan solely because I had a whole lot of mascara samples that I just wanted to use up and this was one of them and I had never tried it before. I hadn't really heard that much about it but guys, first of all, I love the wand because it has, oh you can't see, because it has these little spikies on the end and it makes it perfect. You can kind of go like this and get like the outside, get any spots that you missed and the edges. It lasts all day. It makes your lashes look so long and full and it's just great. And it's about to be used up, honestly, which is good because it's my pressure pan. So I'm all about that. The next makeup product that I have been loving and I wasn't going to show this to you guys because it's one of the many things that I have gotten in my birthday presents to myself, which I plan on doing a huge haul of all of those later, and I'll probably put this back in there, but I wasn't planning on even using it yet, and I just tried it out when I bought it, and I could not use it. So this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Highlighter in Hollywood Boulevard, and it looks kind of crazy. You know what it reminds me of is the Pink Leopard highlighter what is this called pink leopard highlighter from Too Faced it just kind of has like similar tones to it you know the gold and the dark brown and the pink and they are very similar but this one is just a little bit more intense and a little bit more powdery this is what I have on my cheeks today and it comes off very 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 gold whereas the pink leopard one is more pink this one's very very gold it is a very very beautiful highlight it has tons of reflective properties 
and I do like the gold on my warm skin because it just kind of feels more natural to me as opposed to cooler highlights and I have been wearing this like even when I don't wear makeup I just like put this everywhere I'm obsessed the other thing that I have been loving this month I wish I had worn this today but I just got this in the mail and I had to put it on but this is the Balm Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Committed. And this is the shade that everybody is talking about. Everybody is obsessed with this. These smell like Thin Mints. Like they smell exactly like the Girl Scout Cookie Thin Mints. And it's a very gorgeous kind of mauve cool toned. I don't think I know what mauve is anymore. I feel like that term is used to describe everything. Anyways, it's this very, very pretty pink color that's right here on my knuckle. It dries beautifully. It doesn't crack. Now, I'm not the hugest liquid lipstick fan because I do find that they kind of feel very thick on my lips. But this one isn't bad at all, though I haven't tried that many. And the smell and the color make it totally worth it. Now, this is definitely one that I would bring with you to kind of touch up because you will get that line. And although the color won't be that different, at least from my lips, it looks weird when you have like your shiny like lips showing through and then like the matte liquid lipstick so just be aware of that and then the last makeup item again i bought this in my birthday haul and i just couldn't wait to use it honestly i couldn't wait this is the lorac mega pro 2 palette and i really 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 tried to not use this until my birthday but it just was too enticing so this is this palette it comes with a huge mirror and then so many remarkable shades this is amazing i mean like these colors in here you have two rows of mattes complete rows of two matte two complete rows of mattes in all the colors you could ever want you've got some cool purples some warm oranges browns greens grays and then you've got an assortment of shimmery colors as well and this is my first real like big high-end palette i know i have the two Faced matte new natural matte palette but this is my first like big high-end shadow purchase with like more than just those colors and I'm obsessed and I'm about to go buy a million more because I really really like them and for the first time like ever I feel like I have some of the shadows that people are using in a freaking YouTube tutorial so I can actually like make them without trying to like guess and scramble to find them and then the last makeup item that this is kind of makeup the last beauty item i think that i have to talk about is this quick drying top coat for nail polish i guess and i found this on a whim i was in sally beauty getting my hair dye and i walked by and i was like huh i wonder if that works and i really want to paint my nails they're a mess right now don't look this is the rush 60 second high speed top coat guys this works like in 60 seconds or less I'm not kidding you I have been using this every time I paint my nails and it just like dries them almost immediately and you don't have to worry about like 30 minutes after you paint your nails like you still can't put your pants on or like do anything for fear of smudging them this stuff is amazing so I have a couple songs that I want to tell you guys about so the first one I'm sure everybody has heard this song but this is hello by Adele So it's funny because I have a friend who like had this terrible relationship. She just had this terrible relationship in college. The guy treated her like crap and he just kind of like kept leading her on for years and years and years. Like even after he was like dating this other girl, he got this other girl pregnant, he got engaged to this other girl. He would still like text my friend all the time telling her he loved her and he was going to make things work with her and he was going to break up with his baby mama. And finally, finally, thank goodness my friend just was like, finally had had enough and I know it's so hard to get out of those kind of situations because you really do like somebody it's hard to like not believe them when they say that kind of stuff but it's funny because he when this song came out he posted it on her wall and she was like freaking out and I was like oh my god it kind of is perfect though like thinking about their relationship like I'm, I'm not surprised he posted it there but it's just funny the other song that I really like is the new one of the songs from Selena Gomez's new album and it's the song sober and I just think it has like it's kind of like a cool meaning I can kind of relate to it in like my past with Jay and I just kind of really like it it's a cool beat it kind of sounds really like 
fun and upbeat. And then the lyrics are awesome. And then let's see, the song Gone by MGK or Machine Gun Kelly. He's not somebody that I usually listen to, but I really, really like this song. It came out early in the month and it just has a cool meaning. Like it's kind of him telling his life story about how people just kind of leave him and it's cool. And I really like rap songs with like singing choruses and that's what this is. This is the chorus. And then he spends the verses talking about like his life and his daughter and things like that. Okay, so the last thing that I want to tell you guys about are the books that I have been loving this month. And there are a couple. Currently on Audible, the book that I'm listening to, I drive an hour and 40 minutes every day. And so I very often listen to books during that time to kind of make it go by quicker. And the, the book that I'm listening to right now is... David Baladacci and it's called Memory Man and it's about this cop who his family is murdered and he's got like this very intense brain and he's very very can remember everything and he's also a detective and so his family gets killed and like years later they call him back in for a case that's like related to his family's death and he has this like crazy memory and it's really good. The other thing, oh shit I'm on my set moms. The other book that I have been listening to lately that if you are in your 20s or maybe even late 20s, early 30s, mid to, mid 20s to early 30s, I highly recommend this book. So the book is called Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up in 468 Easy-ish Steps and it's by Kelly Williams Brown and it's literally a book of her going through and giving you advice on how to be a grown-up and like I am going to make a whole video talking about this book I feel like because it's so good it's so perfect and it's everything that my channel is about and it like makes me want to change the name of my channel to adulting because that's what I'm doing I'm attempting at being an adult and that's what this channel is all about you know trying to be the best adult you can be and whether she talks a lot about how like you can't like hold against yourself the things that you're not good at and nobody's a perfect grown-up you know like somebody may have the most spotless house and they're so on top of their cleaning stuff but like they can't remember to pick their kid up from school you know what I mean so like everybody's gonna have places that they are not so good at being an adult and places that they're really good at it and you can't beat yourself up for the things that you're not good at and that book has just made me feel so much better about everything because there are some things that I'm really really good at as far as being a grown-up and then there's other things that I'm not and it just makes me feel a lot better about things that I'm not good at so I if you are in your mid to late 20s early 30s and kind of feeling like you don't know how to be a grown-up I highly 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 recommend this book like I can't recommend it enough and I think that might be it the only other thing that I'm reading right now is on uh, Apple books and it's the Academy series and I love reading like weird young adult books you know like romance books and if you're into those this is a very long series about this girl who makes friends with these seven boys and then finds out that they're they're in this like elite academy and they have all these secret jobs and they're like she can't tell if they're like good or bad because they're always like kind of doing really good things but at the same time like their lives are really complicated and it's just really good it's a really good book it's a fun easy read I like to read it you know anytime I have downtime or when I'm trying to fall asleep it's just really good so I recommend that if you're into like the romance young adult kind of book so that's everything guys that's everything that's in my october favorites those are all of the things that i've been absolutely loving this month it's almost november which is my birthday month and i'm so excited i can't wait to see what all of the things that i'm gonna love in november and i'm excited to go home and spend time with my family for thanksgiving and it's just gonna be a great month so i'm excited to wrap up october it was also a great month, but it's been very stressful, and I'm excited for November. So I really hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you've been loving this month. I love seeing all the things that you guys have been loving so that not only can I try them out, but I can also learn a little bit more about you guys. So it's really exciting. Also, don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy watching it because it really lets me know what videos you guys like to see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we're growing, guys, and I am so excited because, like, I literally... 
lately my channel has been growing so quickly like every day I get a couple more subscribers and we're at 71 subscribers and that's so exciting like I thought I was gonna be stuck at like five forever and I know this sounds so lame like to be excited about 71 subscribers when people are like excited about millions and I don't care like I don't care who watches my how many people watch my channel but like I'm excited for every single subscriber and I, you know, like, I don't ever want to be at that point where that's not exciting. Like, I'm not kidding you. I count every single one. Let's see. We'll look right now. We'll see how many I have. See? 71. That's so exciting, guys. I thought I was going to be stuck at 10 forever. Like, I thought I was never going to get 71 subscribers. And I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. It really, really, really makes my day, my week, my month. That might be one of my absolute favorite things in October more than any of the other things that I mentioned. So I really hope you guys like this video and don't forget to come back and watch my next one and I'll see you next time.